Oh my gosh, I keep dropping everything. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It's apparently turning into this thing where I just don't wear makeup anymore on the video. So I hope you don't mind because it's just looking like it's going that route these days. Um, but I have some really, really exciting things to share with you guys today. It's something that I don't normally talk about and it's acupuncture related. I'm so excited to finally be kind of like introducing that a little bit to you guys. But um, today we're going to be talking about facial cupping at home. So uh, I am going to unbox this brand and tell you all of the things that you need to know to get started for at home cupping to help to release stagnation in your skin. And we'll talk about what that is. And then just to give you a facelift, um, no guarantees, of course, but you know what I mean? Um, the goal behind this is to help your skin look youthful and bright and well-nourished and um, I'm looking for all the words, but no words are coming to me today. Um, but glowy, that's another good word, um, all the things. And then it does help to lift up your face. The more you work at it, the better results you're going to get. Um, of course, it changes for everybody, but um, yeah, so let's just get started. I don't want to babble too much because I know I recorded a long video for you guys today. So grab a snack, grab a yummy drink and sit down and be ready to learn about some facial cupping. And I will have all of the information and tag the products below in the description box for you guys if you want to shop that. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel before you take off and enjoy the video guys. All right, so this is what the kit comes like. I've only opened it once to make sure that I had all the pieces in order and I knew what everything was. So I'm just gonna pull everything out one by one and then show you how this cupping set arrives. So first of all, you have your rose hip oil, which is good for all kinds of things, helps with acne, scarring, dry skin. So like you get all the benefits of it being like a serum treatment, but then also you use this as a, um, like a carrier oil because you can't just do the cups on your skin without some kind of oil because it will really drag your skin and make micro tears in your skin. And that's what causes like wrinkles and like yanking at your skin is not good. So using an oil, um, and I love rosehip because it is so good for your skin and it works with so many skin types as well. And then we have a couple doodads here. So this one is awesome. Um, there's literally numerous ways you can use this. Like you can use this on the bigger parts of your skin is like almost like an exfoliator um, and kind of like wake up the skin and break up the stagnation like that. Um, in your hair, you can use that as like a hair scalp thing to help like lift um, and tighten like almost like just a lift and tighten. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so, so many different uses for this, which we can talk about more if you have questions. Um, here they have a, a little bit of a softer like silicone. Um, I would use this as like a cleanser, you know what I mean? Like kind of cleansing your skin or um, you could use it with some of the oil as well and do that for like a scrub. And then... This is where the fun starts. This is all of the cups. So this literally gives you every every size cup you would ever need for at home cupping. Um, and now I wanna show you something. So you guys may or may not know that I actually went to acupuncture school and I'm currently working on my certification still. I have one more board exam to take, but just with all, with all the stress from graduating and just, I got married last year and all the things, I just kind of put that on the back burner for now. And now with COVID, I don't even know if like the testing centers are open and all that. So, so in acupuncture school, we learned how to do cupping and how to do all of this. Um, they didn't teach us facial cupping. That was something that we had to kind of like learn on our own if we wanted to dive into that. So I actually am very, very experienced with facial cupping and you don't need to be licensed to do cupping. Um, and you can definitely obviously buy it for at home. Um, I wanna show you a couple of things. You have real cupping sets um, for acupuncture that I use. Um, and this set 
is like $200, right? So not everybody's going to have this set because that's just a lot of money for somebody to spend um, when you could just have like a smaller kit and it's safer and more convenient for um, people at home to do it. Like you can even like give this to your kids, right? And they can play with it. It's not really going to hurt you. I mean, it could hurt you, but you know, not as likely to be more dangerous um, or contraindicated for certain things as these. So this is what professional acupuncturists use. These are just suction cups. Um, traditional Chinese acupuncture uses fire in a cup, but I prefer this just because it's a lot easier for like suction. So professionally, this is what we use, but you can get the same results. Oh my gosh. I keep dropping everything. You can use the same results with these cups. It's just a lot safer at home and people who don't have their acupuncture license can easily get them and feel good about using them at home and safe. So then just a couple other tools too, just to show you like the cupping options um, in general. Some acupuncturists use these as well. Um, these are great for facial acupuncture, but you have to be careful. If you don't know what you're doing with these, you can really hurt yourself. You can't really, you're not supposed to get water inside this. You know, this is a suction cup. Um, so a lot of the times, and these are expensive. These were like, I don't know, maybe a hundred dollars, 150 for four. Um, so these are not very ideal to have at home just because you know, a lot of people don't know how to clean them right, all the things. So that being said, what I would even recommend to my patients when I am officially licensed is buying these sets because it is so easy. You get all of the sizes. They are just like a tough silicone plastic and you can wash the heck out of them and be fine. Let's just start with a little bit of like why would you do cupping, okay? So cupping, what it does is it helps to break up and release stagnation in your body. And stagnation is a term in Chinese medicine that we refer to as, you know, usually if there's like pain or congestion, like anything stuck, it's stagnation. And it could be blood, it could be energy, um, it could be a number of things. It could be due to trauma. It could just be due to like hormones, like something stuck in the area that's causing a problem. Um, so by releasing the stagnation in the area, it helps improve the blood circulation, the blood flow, which in turn helps with your skin just looking better and fresher in regards to facial acupuncture. Um, so this is really, really great way to kind of as a beginner at home, get one of these sets and play around with it. See how it works on your skin. Um, in school, it's so funny, we would play around with these. And I had one friend in school that had, um, she would get like hormonal stuff, which I do too. And she would kind of go hard in the paint and just have a cup on her skin, like literally here and here. And then she'd come in and have like bruises from it just because there, that means like there was a lot of stagnation, but you do not need to go that intensely. Like you do not need to even really see redness if you're doing it correctly. Like there should be no pain. There should be nothing, you know, leave the intense treatments to the real acupuncturists and people that are licensed to do this. Um, just want to throw that little disclaimer out there. So just be careful with your skin. Um, make sure you don't have any, you know, open wounds when you're doing this, see, things that seem obvious, but um, just be careful. With, also, you don't wanna be like dragging the cups over like moles and stuff like that. So I'm gonna just show you briefly what you do um, and how I, I do it. I know there's a million different ways and some people may think this is right, some people may think it's wrong, some people may be not knowing what to do. So this is how I do it, this is how I learned. Um, in the videos and books, I have tons of books on acupuncture and cupping and facial treatments and all that. This is how I learned how to do it. Um, so there are a million ways to do it. Do what's ever comfortable for you. Um, I do want to also mention really quickly, I'm not going to show you this, but if you have cellulite, legs, anywhere on your body, you can use the bigger cups. Helps kind of like even out the skin tone over time um, and could help diminish the look of cellulite. Um, but of course, nothing's guaranteed. Nothing's ever guaranteed in this world, right? Okay, so first things first. You want to make sure that you have a clean skin. Clean skin. 
You want to make sure that you have a clean canvas here. So I literally just washed my face. I laid out in the sun for a little bit this morning. So I'm a little bit more red. Um, and I just like clean my skin might even have a little bit of my under eye balm on. That's okay. So the first thing you do is grab, um, an oil. So all you need is just a few drops. So I'm just going to put a couple drops in my hands and then in my fingertips, just like very softly like pat it on. You guys know how to apply serums, right? Make sure it's covering all of the surfaces of your skin that you're gonna be cupping. And since I'm gonna show you a little bit on my neck as well, I'm just gonna put a few more drops on my neck and chest, okay? And then what I learned in the past is if you don't wipe off the oil and ointments, before you start cupping, it's very hard to hang on to the cups. I know that seems like obvious, but sometimes you forget and it's all over the place. So a couple of things to remember is, I don't know, I'm not a massage therapist. I don't know any of the science behind that, but I do know that there are lymph nodes and things that drain, right? So you don't wanna be pushing up on your lymph nodes because you don't want to push things back up. So what you want to start off doing, you can use whatever size cup works best for you for like, typically like if it's a smaller area, you use a smaller cup. And if it's a bigger area, you use a bigger cup. That's kind of like the rule of thumb. Oh, so first you start underneath your ear. So you just squeeze and it makes like a kissing noise. Um, and you can, after you kind of get the hang of it, you can squeeze it on and it will stick by itself. It looks creepy, sucks up your skin. Yeah, it's weird. Um, so you can drag it down too and it stays. Um, the only thing here is since it's draining down, you don't want to go back up with it as well. But like when you're getting cupping done on your back, say at an acupuncturist office, we do do sliding cups up and down the back. You just don't want to push all that gunk back up into your, into your face and head. So make sure here you're always just going down. And it is very difficult on the neck, just FYI, um, because every little angle and crevice that it hits, it comes unsuctioned. So sometimes it is easier to just like lift it off instead of dragging it down. If, I mean, you'll get the hang of it. Once you start doing this, you'll be like, all right, this is hard. I know what she's talking about. So you kind of just like do that a couple times, do it down. And then I'm gonna do the side really quickly. Okay, and then I even like to do my chest because I'm somebody who, when I get anxious, um, I feel a lot of it, <laughs> so weird. I feel a lot of like stress in my chest um, and tightness. So you can literally like put these on and like drag them across. Same idea. And it just like breaks up the stagnation, helps promote the um, blood circulation, oxygen, all the things. It should feel really good. Like I can tell where I feel, like where I hold my tension because it just feels good. Like it feels good when I get to here. Um, it feels good like right here. And always you want to go up and away. Um, think of it as like lifting. So you never want to go like down unless it's just to drain the lymph here, um, the lymph nodes. Um, so just always think like up and away. So then what you do, um, we'll move to your face. Once you do that down here and I do this feels really good. And then you can move on to the face. So again, like the bigger parts of your body for the bigger cup. So because my face isn't that big, I'm not going to use this cup. Like it would take up my whole cheek. So I'm not going to probably use that one at all. So I'll probably stick with these little guys here. Um, so I'm not gonna go through like the whole process of this. You can kind of like watch more videos and I can do more tutorials if you want in the future. Um, but basically you want to go up and around and follow, follow the curves of your bones and that will give you a good idea on the direction that you need to go. I like to start from like here and go down and then come back up but you can do it however you want. Some people say to start up here, um, here, but again, I'm just gonna start here. Um, and you have to be really careful around the eye area. Um, you don't want to drag anything here. So I really like the squeeze and then lift technique. 
And then always remember to go as far as you can into your hairline. That's always really important too. You don't want to forget that because you want to think about it as like lifting into your hairline because that's what they do for a facelift too, right? And then, so once you kind of get the hang of it, you can drag it a little bit, like you'll know on the areas where you can. So you just wanna make sure you hold here lightly and then just pull. And then you can do the same thing right underneath. Um, I know I'm going to get the question, like, how many times do you do this? Do it, you know, I'd start with a couple and then you can graduate to doing more every time you do it. Um, and then I would start doing it like once a week and then, you know, for a couple weeks and then do um, twice a week. And then I don't feel like you should need it more than that. Um, so just do you know, once or twice a week, I would say is all you need. On top, what I'm going to do is kind of start here and drag it to here because that's kind of where the wrinkles are. And then that also is like lifting up and out. Now that you kind of covered that half of your face, you just take the little one and you want to focus on like the fine lines and wrinkles. So like I have some here for my smile lines. I have a couple here and then just like a few random ones up here that I'm starting to notice. So I would just take the small one to really concentrate on the small areas and just kind of pinch it on that and do that like over and over again. I'm not going to sit here and do this with you guys. Um, but same thing around your eyes. Like you can do the little ones here. Just make sure that you're not dragging it. This is more of like the squeeze and let go thing. Um, and then you can just like really focus on the area. Um, you could stay here for a couple minutes and do this on your fine lines and wrinkles. Like say you had like a deep wrinkle here, you could just stay here for, you know, five minutes and like kind of drag it back and forth on that. But you kind of want to same idea behind cosmetic acupuncture on your face when you have needles in your face. Um, the needles create micro tears in your skin, which produces more collagen um, and elastin and all that good stuff. And it will help to rejuvenate the skin and create more skin cells, which helps to diminish the look of wrinkles. I know that's a mouthful, I'm so sorry, but that's kind of the idea behind it and just stimulating your skin and just getting the blood flow really, really helps a lot. Like you can see, like I'm still a little bit red here just from the sun and being warm right now, but the color here compared to here, like you know that we move stuff around and you can see the redness on my chest. Like that is a good sign to me. Um, so that is what I do. I know it seems a little bit um, confusing and all of that, but you will get the hang of it. If you like this video, just let me know and I can do some more tutorials like step-by-step. Step. Um, the thing also to remember is there are a couple of contraindications um, for cupping, like if you have bleeding disorders and all of that. So just make sure that you check with your doctor um, before you try experimenting with anything like this, um, just for safety. And then also a good rule of thumb to remember um, with acupuncture, they always tell us after cupping, there are some things that you're not supposed to do for 24 to 48 hours. Um, some things include eating like fried greasy food, um, drinking alcohol. So just be really cautious after cupping um, and drink tons of water, like literally triple your water intake that you would normally do um, just so your skin can heal. And that will really help to improve the benefits of cupping and just like your skin in general too. So um, yeah, if you have any questions about the product, let me know. I will put all of the pricing down below here for you guys in the description box. And if you have any questions, obviously just go ahead and ask me down there in the comments. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, just give it a thumbs up so I know you like it. And um, I'd be more than happy to do more tutorials and all of that for you guys because I have literally like so much acupuncture stuff um, and knowledge that I learned in medical school. So I'd be happy to share all of that with you guys if you would like that. Um, but cheers to uh, slim, skinny faces, no surgery needed. And this feels so good. I don't want to stop. <laughs> okay, but I have to because I have a million other things I got to do today. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and 
We will see you next week.